Hey guys, it's Zach Three Point Zero, and I'm gonna be playing Escape from Prison. Oh, I hear you. You're free to go. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. Wow. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked if anything useful, haven't we, David? What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course they checked it. I mean, they didn't check it. It was my job. It was my job. <laughs> See you around. Here mm. we go. Ooh, a cake. Let's see. I choose drill. Whoa. That worked. You will walk walls. <laughs> Go bar. Wait uh, 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 uh. Go, go, go. Um, that way. Watch you do it. <laughs> All right. What happens if I go this way? <laughs> but, that one. What's this doing? What? Logic. Get ready. What do you want me to do? Uh, Matrix. You catch the last bullet. Witness, please continue your testimony. 
Oh, okay. I was riding alongside my partner and the other man, but suddenly spotted a bag on the side of the road. Got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Affection! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? No! Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Uh, that one. Take that! Is, it, is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? What? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie the knot on the outside. How did he do it? It's simple. But he didn't. Why? What are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! What? As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While I was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the picking body. picking all the right ones on the accident. Bag, no one could drive by on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, the victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness got everything was over. That's haunts him now. You can't, you can't, you can't be happening to me! <laughs> Well, you know, that you know, certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman, not guilty. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. How can you even keep up with that car? Dun, 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 dun. Let's try this. Let's try this. <laughs> Let's try this again. Oh. Boy. Ah. I got a taser. <laughs> hey, he's escaping. Grenades. Go check yourself. Oops. What the? Boom. Chair? Oh, she's the wrong right, right one. Right one. Again. I keep choosing the, the right ones on accident. Japan. Hmm. You're right back in the same prison. Oh, you're back. There she is. Oh, he's a lot. Oh, never mind. What the fuck? Did you see that? All right, this one. Go, go, go! Thank you guys for watching and uh, subscribe to my friend Domination Squad and uh, 
Brandon Baldwin and uh, Connor, you guys have a wonderful day.